back to the actual defense channel in delivering news between Russia and Ukraine. In a video recording showing Ukraine forces had built Russian troops on the day after the victory of the Wagner forces. Ukraine troops have also succeeded in conducting a half circle around the city of Bakhmut and against Russian troops in the region. According to Hannah Billion, Deputy Minister of Defense Ukraine, the enemy troops have failed to surround Bakhmut because of the high position controlled by Ukraine forces around the city. This makes the enemy forward movement in the edge of the city very difficult. And while the Ukraine troops have seized the city in the siege partially, giving them the opportunity to destroy enemy forces. Therefore, Russian troops were forced to defend themselves in the part of the city controlled by Ukraine forces. Deputy Minister of Defense added that Ukraine forces are still controlling industrial facilities, infrastructure, and the private sector in the Bakhmut region. Russian President Vladimir Putin launched a military operation in Ukraine in February which aims to achieve a fast victory. However, after more than one year of battle, the current battle continues in the eastern region of Ukraine due to several problems, including the lack of motivated troops in Moscow. Bakhmut, a city in the eastern region of Ukraine, has been a place of battle for months between Ukraine and Russian troops, with both sides claiming victory in the city. From the statement of Colonel General Alexander Sersky about the continuation of the operation of the Ukraine military forces as they moved forward around the city of Bakhmut. According to a Ukraine news agency, Pravda, although we are now controlling a small portion of Bakhmut, the weaknesses of their defense do not lose their relevance. This gives us an opportunity to enter the city if there is a change in the situation, which is likely to happen, Sowersky said. Ukrainian groups have also managed to maintain their position in the southwestern part of Bakhmut in holding the attack from the Russian invaders. Finally, the Institute of War Studies, a think tank based in the U.S., quoted a Russian military blogger earlier this week who said that Ukraine troops succeeded in penetrating the Russian defense line in the south and southwest, from Ivanovsky to Klasvivika. They also added that Russian troops retreated to a new position of about nine miles north of Bakhmut. The Wagner Troop Group, which was founded by businessman Yevgeny Pragoshin, faced a disaster in Ukraine next week when their troops were surrounded by Ukraine fighters in Bakhmut. The retired U.S. Army General, Mark Malin, brutal attack last two days, with the Wagner Group hoping to give a symbolic victory to Putin after months of deadlock. This group consists mostly of former assistants and used to be considered a change that changes in Russian conflict. However, Difficult battles for months in Bakhmut did not provide clear results for Russian and Ukraine forces. Two days ago, Ukraine military forces claimed victory in Bakhmut and announced that they had taken full control over the city from a shipment in a telegram media. However, Ukrainian troops rejected the claim hard and had stated that very difficult battles were still ongoing in the city and their troops were still controlling their main aspects in maintaining the Bakhmut city area. In a video recording showing the Wagner Group troops had difficulty facing this battle when their troops were surround military troops in Bakhmut. But Wagner's troops, founded by businessman Yevgeny Pragoshin, have fought with Russian troops in Bakhmut in the hope of giving Putin symbolic victory after months of brutal attacks on the region. However, the results of bleeding battles for months in Bakhmut not yet a determinant of the winner between Russia and Ukraine. The War Study Institute said that the US-based think tank quoted from a Russian military blogger earlier this week who said that Ukrainian troops had succeeded in penetrating the defense line of Russian troops in the south and southwest, from Ivanovsky to Klasvivika. 
They also stated that Russian troops had retreated to a new position of about 10 miles from the north of the Bakhmut region. Even so, General Colonel Alexander Sersky said that the Ukraine forces continued to advance along the Bakhmut side and had begun to approach tactical siege in the city. According to reports from the Ukraine news agency, Pravda, even though they only control Sumzmal Bakhmut, the weaknesses of the city's defense remain relevant. This gives Ukrainian troops the opportunity to enter the city if there is a change in the situation, which might occur. Sourski also stated that Ukraine troops continued to advance on the edge of Bakhmut and close to the city tactically. This will allow them to control the buildings occupied by enemies in stages and destroy them and deprive enemy control over access to the city and provide tactical benefits for Ukraine forces. Ukraine also succeeded in maintaining their position in the southwestern part of Bakhmut. According to the Pravda report, 